Hello everybody, welcome back to EAFC with the Aston Villa career mode and we are up against it. It's first v second, but we've upped it to legendary and we're playing Liverpool. So I feel like we're going to be in a world of pain for this one. I was contemplating editing our strategy, tactics, see if we can get the best out of our players, basically. Because um, I, 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 did, I did want to go in there, but it's actually in team management, I think, isn't it? For what I want is in tactics. Yes, so I think we can get a bit more out of our players. So I'm going to have a little play around here and see what we can do to potentially get a few, a few more play styles in and get the players playing to their best ability. Okay, so a little bit of a change around, but most people playing in the... Well, exactly the same starting eleven, to be honest. But we are mixing things up in terms of getting a few more of those plus play styles out there. So, yeah, McGinn... Onana, Tielemans, all staying in the same three they did. We've moved Bailey to an inside forward, or kept him as an inside forward, but put him on balanced. And then we've got Rodgers on a winger on attack to give a bit more space on the width. And then we've got Matson playing as a false back because he's going to come into midfield as Tielemans pushes on. Uh, Torres and Konza back there. Konza changes to a stopper and Elias Yeller in as an attacking wing back. So hoping that that gives us a little bit more ability on the ball because we're going to be getting more out of the players that we have i'm also not against potentially going to a two up front system and trying duran and watkins in there together so yes we're going to be taking on liverpool at anfield i'm a little bit scared so ladies and gentlemen welcome to anfield for liverpool versus aston villa this should be a very good game here at Anfield, and it's going to be a tough one for Aston Villa in a four, poor bit of form at the moment. They take on the league leaders. Villa are sitting in second. Liverpool are flying in the league in first place at the moment, and Liverpool just wins, wins, wins. Aston Villa coming off the back of two losses in a row. So as the mascots run off the pitch and the players shake hands here at Anfield, we'll go through the lineups with you, but it's a slightly changed lineup. For Liverpool, looks like Darwin Nunes has got the, lord, uh, got the nod over Diego Jota. Endo starting in midfield as well. Aston Villa lining up as you expect Unai Emre would. No real changes to their team. But first up, it is Liverpool. And they're lining up like this. A 4-2-1-3 formation for Arnie Slot's men. Alisson Becker in goal, as you would expect. Robertson, Kwanzaa, Van Dijk and Alexander-Arnold at the back. Endo and Gravenberch partner Sozoblai in there. Nunes is flanked by Salah and Luis Diaz. It's a very strong team for the home team. Aston Villa come in a 4-3-3, which sees them line up as expected for Unai Emery. Martinez in goal. Konza and Torres at the back with Matson and Christensen Yeller there as well. Onana, Tielemans, McGinn, Watkins, Bailey and Morgan Rogers. It should be an interesting clash. It's first v second. Let's get into it. So Aston Villa know they are going to be on the uh, the back end of probably a lack of possession, I would suggest here. Uh, Liverpool, as the home team, you would expect them to dominate a little bit more. This is the first time from the kickoff we're actually seeing Mo Salah trundle down the wing, showing he's still got pace in those legs, the Egyptian. As, uh, well, Darwin Nunes has somehow got the ball there. Not too sure how. Good block from... Eri Konza and it's going to be an early corner for Liverpool showing that they're here to get on the front foot straight away Mo Salah is going to take this one short looking to Ryan Gravenberg Salah on it again and well he's put the ball out for a throw good pressure from Ellis Yellert Konza here is Elias Yellert Aston Villa just trying to control a bit of possession to start here and well Gravenberg has got him with a good tackle on Mr Bailey Alexander-Arnold will look to uh, bring this one forward. Looks like Aston Villa have just changed how they're setting up when they get the ball occasionally in this game. And uh, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Trying to change some tactical tweaks as they're on a two-game losing streak. May even be more than that. I think it could be a three-game losing streak. But, um, yeah, they've got a tough run of games coming up in December. And they need to end November on a high as Trent Alexander-Arnold looks to go around the outside. Lays that one into Mo Salah. Mo Salah, now we know he's going to want to go... On his left foot here. Yeah, just playing a bit of cat and mouse with him. And I dived in. And he's still going. Salah, great save, Martinez. He had a shot from distance. Emmy Martinez was equal to it. And Mo Salah teasing us there, isn't he? Just teasing us. Trying to get us to make a tackle. As uh, Mo Salah's going to swing this one in towards Van Dijk. But that is easy for Martinez. And we're playing on the counter-attack. So if we can get something happening here, which we definitely can't. Because Ollie Watkins has lost the ball in a very, very dangerous position. Gravenberch into Salah. Mo Salah looking to turn 
into Nunes. On one more to Soboslai, I think number seven is, or is it? No, it's Luis Diaz. It's all Liverpool at the moment. It's sort of what I expected, to be honest. Um, I need to set. Uh, can you change set pieces in EA this year and where people stand? I think you can. As uh, Tielemans is just going to bring this one away, and we've got well, we've got a few runners here, and we could be in a good position. Leon Bailey holds it up, finds the gap bar, oh, but John McGinn's just offside. We are going to have to try and play on that counter attack, and yeah, John McGinn. Oh, just. Just offside by his forehead. Liverpool giving it away and Leon Bailey's found Watkins. Watkins could be in. Ollie Watkins, it's a goal. Come on. It's 1-0 Aston Villa completely against the run of play. But Ollie Watkins has got it. A terrible free kick from Liverpool. They went to play a short option. Leon Bailey read it with his really good acceleration. And uh, Fred the ball through to Watkins. He was through basically one-on-one. -on -one. Alison Becker's got absolutely no chance with Watkins in form, on fire, on his favourite foot. Just pings it into that bottom corner. 1-0 Villa. Aston Villa just trying to control the game a little bit more as Bailey sees a run from his right back down the line. Elias alert, and he's going to try and swing in an early cross. A bit too much on it. Oh, nearly got all the way through. It has come here to, uh, to Rogers' heavy touch, though, and he gives it away. But, yeah, Aston Villa desperately just trying to take the sting out of this game as Becker plays a short pass out to Robertson. Back to Kwanzaa, and it goes to Endo. Now, keeping our shape is a crucial thing against Liverpool. We do not want people... Running out of position too often. As Tielemans and uh well Tielemans is trying to put Salah and Alexander Arnold under pressure, but struggling to make that happen. Gravenberch picks out Sozobly. Sozobly comes forward out to Luis Diaz, who's gonna have pace. And Elias Yalert has been a good signing for Aston Villa. He's done very well since signing, and he's got to be on form here against the Colombian, but the Colombian's got the better of him. Into Nunes. Shot goes wide. McGinn round the corner nicely to Tielemans. Oh, Ollie Watkins has just gone offside. Just went offside. It was a good move, though. I'll tell you what. These changes we've made to have Matson tuck in on the left and have a winger stay wide on the left is really, really helping us out, create a bit more space. There's about 10 minutes to go in the first half. We've got a 1-0 lead. I mean, I'm not writing Liverpool out of it at all, but we are playing well in possession, and that's what we need is Matson up against. Yes, great defending from the youngster against Mo Salah. Lovely, lovely stuff. As uh, Konza just looks out to Elias Yeller, flicks it on one more to Leon Bailey. Leon Bailey has got options, but that's not... Oh, Ollie Watkins has robbed Kwanzaa. He's done well. Leon Bailey down the line to Elias Yeller. Not too many men in there. Elias Yeller. Oh, that's a good tackle from the defender. Did really well and great composure from Allison. We are playing some lovely football here, but Kwanzaa just gets it back. We've kept possession there for, I'd probably say... 15, 10, 15 minutes of the game, maybe a bit less, eight minutes or so. But yeah, really good stuff. We are getting a lot of extra time and space in this system on the ball, which is great. Rogers heads that down to uh, to Tielemans, and that's half time. It's one nil Villa, the away team. We're still playing on legendary, by the way. This is much, much better. No changes at half time for either team. It's Ollie Watkins' goal, which is the difference maker at the moment, and uh, Aston Villa will be delighted with that first half. Here is Darwin Nunes. Holds it up well and brings in Sozoblai. Shoots from range. I mean, a goalkeeper of Martinez's quality will have to be beaten by quite the world, I think, from that range to make a difference there. Konza looks out wide. That's not going to have the legs on it to find Ali, uh, to find oh, Morgan Rogers. Although Rogers has got the ball now. And here is Watkins. Ollie Watkins. Kwanza doesn't come over. Watkins, oh, I pressed the wrong button. I pressed the bloody wrong button. <laughs> Luis Diaz running down the left-hand side. Elias Yelert struggling to keep up with the speedy winger. It's well covered by Matson at the back post. And Tielemans are just going to clear his lines here, I think. Get that one away. Panic stations already for Villa. 53 minutes gone. 1-0 lead. There is a substitute for Liverpool as Ryan Gravenberch comes off to be replaced by Paqueta, who they signed from West Ham. So maybe uh, with that substitution, a bit less physicality in that Liverpool midfield, but a bit more flair as here is Nunes looking to turn his man, cuts it back to but a Sozobly, I think, that was going to have that effort. And, uh, well, the Aston Villa defenders have done really well and then given it away. Luis Diaz back to Sozobly. Sozobly holds it up. Here is Endo. Out to Salah. They're just so good with their feet, this Liverpool team. Salah again, don't dive in. Keep our shape. Keep our shape. Paqueta gets his first touch of the ball. Endo into Nunes. Salah. 
up against Matson. Matson's had a good game, but Salah's got round him this time. Oh, he's made made Matson look like a bit of an idiot there. Endo's in, shoots, good save, Martinez. Corner for Liverpool, goes short. Trying to get Salah in the game as much as possible, you'd imagine. McGinn try to put a tackle in there. It's going to fall to Paqueta. Van Dijk back to Paqueta. Liverpool not fancying a shot at the moment. Trying to get that really good XG chance. As that soz a blow with an effort. Big hand from Martinez. So Darwin Nunes coming off. Diego Jota coming on up front for Liverpool. And an interesting change coming up for Villa as well. As Tyrone Mings is coming on for Konza at the back and that looks like an injury rather than tactical as Konza jogs off the pitch. Tyro Mings a bit more height coming on definitely not as good with the ball. So what will those changes do to the game as Salah again picks up the short corner but Tielemans is having none of it this time and Tielemans oh that's a poor pass should have cleared my lines like I did last time good ball through into Jota with a shot great save Martinez and uh, Elias Yella will get it forward as quickly as he can to Leon Bailey and Leon Bailey just boots it away. Tielemans, that's a good ball into Ollie Watkins there. Ollie Watkins has got runners and one of them is John McGinn and John McGinn has made it 2-0 Villa but I think the flag is up. I think the flag is up. The Villa fans are in raptures here at Anfield but it has been ruled out for offside. That's got to be close. That's got, it was such a good run from John McGinn. Oh again, this is forehead. His big toe and his forehead. Unbelievable. Great pass from Ollie Watkins. But John McGinn just offside. And it's another substitution for Liverpool with 20 minutes to go. Soz of Light coming off and Chiesa coming on. Oh, Mo Salah this time has beaten Matson. He's put a good ball into Jota, but he's offside. Double substitution for Aston Villa then as Tielemans is coming off. I said double, it's not. Tielemans being replaced by Bellingham. I thought I was going to do Rodgers for... Um, for Ramsey, but I didn't in the end. Uh, I kept it as it is. We just made a few tactical tweets. Getting Bellingham in there is a bit more of a defensive role than what Tielemans was doing, just to give us a few more bodies back, to be honest. Elias Yalert, though. Oh, he's just overrun it. Uh, it's going to be easy for Tyro Mings to uh, to pick this one up. Morgan Rogers, good header down to Bellingham. Getting involved in the game early on, and he's picked out Watkins. He's offside. It's another disallowed goal for Aston Villa. What a finish from Watkins that was, by the way. As Bellingham saw the run, he is quite far offside this time, but still got that threat. So, 10 minutes to go. Diego Jota on the ball in a dangerous position. He's got round Tyro Mings. Great save from Martinez. Rebound. Martinez saves it again and jumps on it. Superb goalkeeping from the Aston Villa. I was going to say number one, but number 23. Um, yeah, really, really, really good goalkeeping. He's kept us with a 1-0 lead there. Onana with a great tackle on Chiesa. He's looked up to find Watkins. Watkins looks out wide for Rodgers. Rodgers just holds it up. Goes back. Joe Bellingham is there. There is a crossfield pass on towards Bailey, but didn't quite get it right. We are actually still pushing Elias Yellow on quite high. And that could cause us a few issues as uh, Paqueta on the ball. Couple of minutes to go in this one. Liverpool looking for an equaliser. Two men take each other out in the middle of the park. Uh, Lucas Paqueta twisting and turning. Here is Chiesa. Lots of space out wide for Luis Diaz. Onana's got to cover. Onana comes over, does get a foot in. Jota's there, shot! Past the post. So as we tick into the final few minutes of injury time, Aston Villa just sensibly keeping the ball because they could be on for a very famous 1-0 win here at Anfield. Tyro Mings goes for a big cross. It's a wonderful pass from Tyro Mings. Rodgers, he's onside, but it's full time. It's 1-0 Aston Villa against league leaders Liverpool on legend. Get in. So McGinn was caught offside more than a few times today. Are you concerned? Absolutely not. He was getting into great positions. I'm going to celebrate John McGinn's performance. He did really, really well today. The whole team was superb and I don't care. John McGinn was pushing into good attacking positions and, and we made it work. Leon Bailey and not going much way. Zero shots today um i don't mind that we'll, we'll console him i think he had a good game as well again the, the the defensive and the front three unit working really well in tandem a new role for matson by the way matson was my man of the match he pocketed mo salah in that game and uh no i'm i'm, I'm going to encourage onana again he's having a fantastic time with us in this squad and i'm happy with how we're playing Lucas Dinier's come moaning that we're happy we're not picking him. Um, well, you're, I'm selling you, so um, we'll just say keep pushing yourself, but we, we've already agreed to sell you. So, uh, Matson then, thanks for the first team chances. I, I'm, I, I said I expect more. I was trying to say I'm proud of you. Uh, boss, thanks for giving me a run in the team. Uh, I'm proud of you, Kamara, even though you're not actually playing that much. 
at the moment. Um, but yes, I have added names to shortlist as well that you've been recommending down below. So please do keep doing that. Uh, that is awesome. We've got Crystal Palace up next, which we'll be simulating. And then it's a massive game for Juventus. And there we go. That's confirmed. For 14.1 million, Lucas Digne is moving to Fiorentina. So here we are then, Crystal Palace. I think we're gonna, just going to keep the same team, to be honest. Um, I know we've got Juventus coming up, but absolutely no need to change anything. So we'll quick sim that one. And it's a 1-1 draw with Crystal Palace, who are doing all right. They're fifth in the league this year. Ollie Watkins banging us another goal as well in the 79th minute. Uh, and next up, Juventus. Okay, so we're heading into the final game of November against Juventus and we're going to be going with the same team. Rogers is a little bit tired, but I am happy with how the team is playing at the moment, which is great. Uh, the bench is looking fit and healthy as well. I'm going to take Digne off the bench because we have like sold him. So Courtney Howes is going to come on the bench. I think oh, would it be Courtney Howes? No, it would probably be Diego Carlos would, would come on the bench. Uh, so I think we're going to go with that. But yes, we are now looking for a new backup left back basically. So uh, yeah, let your get your recommendations in down below. Here we are then, Champions League football at Villa Park and Aston Villa are taking on European giants Juventus. They have welcomed back Champions League football in some dramatic style here with Bayern Munich and Juventus visiting Villa Park. We'll be back in just a second to go through the teams. So as the pleasantries get underway, it is Champions League football here at Villa Park and Aston Villa are unchanged from a very good 1-0 victory over Liverpool. Tielemans, McGinn and Onana, a force to be reckoned with in midfield. It was Martinez in goal who got a fantastic man of the match performance against Liverpool. Elias Yalert continues at right back ahead of Matty Cash and Watkins has scored three goals in his last three games. Unai Emery has got this team clicking. They did beat league leaders Liverpool but drew with Crystal Palace 1-1 after that so they are looking to up their game and come back with a win here in the champions league in a in a they've not been performing brilliantly in europe there does seem to be a difference in european football but juventus are looking strong here at villa Park. they're going to be led up front by that big man there number nine dusan vlahovic but it's a strong lineup from tiago motta that's been picked in this game as douglas louise comes back in midfield to play aston villa a 4-2-3-1 with degroge Degro Di Gregorio in goal. Danilo, the captains at centre-back. Locatelli, partners, ex-Villa man, Douglas Luiz. Coop Miners sits behind Vlahovic. Should be a good game. And here we are then, underway at Villa Park. And the rain has been pouring. There is a little bit of water on the surface, which will slow the ball up somewhat. But uh, it should be an interesting game. No rain coming down as of yet, but that may happen in the future. Elias Yulet putting in a good tackle there. On Cabal, who sometimes somehow hold on to the ball, as uh, we're just going to let oh, a bit of freed space there. But it was a good tackle from Elias Lilla in the end, as uh, Bailey does look up to Watkins, who has been in good form but decided to run away from the ball that time. Or oh, Conceição has got down the right hand side past Matson. He held up the ball and then ran it out of play. He's actually been in uh, in real life is is a good little player. Conceição looks very very useful for Juventus, but uh, in this game so far. He's just run the ball out of players. Here comes Elias Yeller. Leon Bailey's got a really good run and actually going to leave it for Watkins. But De Gregorio, why can't I say his name, is out quickly. Rogers on the ball, who was the only fitness out for Aston Villa. That's a wonderful ball through to Bailey. His shot's blocked and it will be a corner. But yeah, Rogers, first actions in the game. There was a question mark from Unai Remer if he could play. But uh, Leon Bailey, great first touch. The shot, trying to bend it in the far corner. It's uh, a good block from the Juventus defender as John McGinn has the first corner of the day. He's going to swing this one in. Really dangerous area. Cabal heads it away. John McGinn is there. Looks to put it back in. Is it a header from Bailey? Oh, it's just gone wide. Not known for his head in Leon Bailey. But what an effort. And Thiago Motta looks on worried. McGinn into Tielemans. Just got held up in the rain a little bit. So he invites Matson forward. Back to the Belgian Tielemans. John McGinn in a little bit of space here. John McGinn, I went for... Why did I wind up that big power shot? Never had the time to do that. And uh, Malerio will look to counter and break for Juventus. But Villa get men back in numbers. Uh, yeah, Uno Emery's disciplined this team to be very good in their defensive shape recently. That was on show against Liverpool. And uh, the, it, it proved wonders, didn't it? It gave absolute rewards for that. As here is Vlahovic. Great tackle in there. Terrible pass from Elias Yalert, though. Watkins turns, looks up towards Rogers. Rogers has just got a little bit of time here, trying to 
just tease a Juventus player into making a tackle. He's gone wide, looking for Elias Yula. Runs out of play. 20 minutes gone, nil-nil at Villa Park. Oh, Conte Sal picks up a little bit of space. He's drawn Pau Torres towards him. Coop Miners ball through Vlahovic. It's 1-0 Juventus. Really good football from the old lady. And Juve make it 1-0 through Juventus. Through Juventus. Through Vlahovic. Really good finish. Really good football. Coop Miners. The space opened up. Konza couldn't quite get there. And it's a really well-placed finish past uh, Emi Martinez. Juventus strike first. It's the big man up front. It's Dusan Vlahovic to make it 1-0 Juventus. Tielemans looking on it into Watkins. Watkins looking for a response. Oh, the shot is just past the post. Villa nearly having a response straight away to go and 1-0 down. And Watkins just couldn't puff, bend his foot around it. And it flies past the post. I have changed to precision shooting, by the way. So things will be a bit more powerful, but less accurate. Uh, and I've got, I've got to be more accurate with my shooting. So it takes a bit of the assistance out of the game, which is something I prefer. Oh, really good pressure from Bailey, and surely he's got the pace to get through here. It's Bailey's in. Bailey for Aston Villa. Oh, he's put it right in the top bins. 1-1, one, one. and Bailey with a huge counter-attack. Not sure about the celebration, but what a goal from Bailey. Juve were trying to sit a bit more defensive, hold on to the ball. Bailey nicked it, ran through with his pace, and what a finish, by the way. Well happy with that one. Right in the top bins. No goalkeeper saving that. What a goal from Leon Bailey. 1-1. One, one. Onana picks out Elias Yela, who's getting a lot of space on this right-hand side. Juve are not tracking him at all. McGinn flicks the ball over to the other side to Rogers. Back in field to Yuri Tielemans. It's a good football from Aston Villa, this. Up it goes to Bailey. Leon Bailey fancies another one, but it's an easy save for Di Gregorio in goal. And thank God I've got his name right at the first attempt. Oh, it's another really good tackle, this time from Elias Yellert in the middle of the box, which is going to release Leon Bailey. He looks out to Watkins. Really good defending from Danilo, though, to get a touch on that. But Juventus are so susceptible to the counter-attack. It's unbelievable, as uh, we're just getting towards half-time. And uh, Conte Sao wins himself a throw in there, playing it off John McGinn, I think it was. But, uh, yeah, Ju um, Juventus are playing some suicidal football here. Oh, and ref, don't blow it there. Ollie Watkins is in. Half time, 1 0 Villa. No, 1 1, sorry. So, second half underway with Juventus kicking off. It's their goal scorer, Dusan Vahovic, that kicked the second half off. Uh, and his goal was equaled out by Bailey, a wonder strike into the top corner, which I don't think any goalkeeper would have saved. Um, but yeah, Juve really, really playing themselves into a bit of trouble in this game every so often. As uh, Onana comes forward, looks up towards Bailey, who can turn. He looks out towards Elias Yalert. Just not too much support for the wing back, and uh, he's lost the ball. Oh, Watkins has flicked that one down to Tielemans. Couldn't get it out of his feet, but it comes to Rogers. His shot's blocked. Tielemans on it again. Oh, just good foot in. Juve playing suicidal football at the back. Thiago Motta must be blowing his top because the amount of times they've given the ball away in a dangerous position, and I wouldn't say I'm pressing aggressively. It's just that their, their passes, maybe they're getting held up in the rain a little bit and they're not used to it. I don't know, but Juve really aren't they're lucky to be 1-1 they and they've done it again they're lucky to be 1-1 Watkins puts it in it's a terrible pass and we I'm just not punishing them for poor football great tackle from Bailey again as Bailey looks to come forward he's got Watkins in a good position Watkins heavy touch and again just not punishing bad decision making from Juventus Tielemans McGinn looks back to Tielemans can't get a touch on it and that's good defending that time as uh, Matson's going to come forward this time fancies it from range Good block. Oh, it's good football. Moliero is through. He's got round Elias Yalert for the first time in the game. He looks for a cross into Vlahovic, but Martinez claims it really, really well. Yeah, Juve are just playing odd football. Really, really odd football. Something I wouldn't expect to see from the AI on, uh, on Legendary. But I th I th we're playing well. We are playing well, and we do deserve to be in front in this game. But we're just not taking our chances. Elias Yalert, Watkins lays it off. That's Watkins there. Great shot. It was Bailey with the layoff. Watkins with a hit. A very f ferocious hit. But uh, yeah, keeper does very well. Still 1-1. 20 minutes to go. So substitution for Juventus as Colwell is coming on to replace Gatti at the back. And a substitution for Aston Villa as well as Bellingham and Ramsey are on to replace Tielemans and Rodgers. Watkins pressuring high up the pitch and trying to get Aston Villa a little bit higher up because Juventus are struggling to play out here. Back to Di Gregorio. 
He goes long. We haven't got anyone to win that. That's a really easy control for Coop Miners. But Pau Torres is there. Gives it away to uh, Conceição. And now we are going to have to be on the defensive. Conceição comes forward with it. He's only got Vlahovic really for support in the middle. Goes back to uh, his right back, Cambiasso. Conceição on it again. Holds it up. Good tackle from Torres. He tracked in well. Ten minutes to go. And uh, Juventus are making another change. Not too sure who that is coming on and off there. But, uh, oh, that's a great touch from Conceição, you cheeky boy. Uh, to the byline, puts a cross in, looking for Vlahovic. Cons is there, and uh, Bellingham touches that one away. Leon Bailey, what have you got here? Have you got enough pace? I don't think you have in this wet weather. Douglas Luiz sort of flaps a leg at it, doesn't do much, but does tackle John McGinn at the second attempt. And I've, honestly, it's we deserve to win this game. Juventus have had one shot, and they've scored from it. And that is... I mean, just terrible if you're a Juventus fan that's travelled to Villa. But also, it is indicative of, of how much we have been in control of this game. And uh, if Juve do score a winner, it is massive smash and grab. Cambiasso back into Conseil Sao under a bit of pressure, but a nice flick to find Coop Miners. I just need to keep my shape and not get drawn out too much thinking that we should be winning and allowing myself to get drawn out of position. Great defending there. From uh, from Torres, and he's going to look wide up to Bailey. Who obviously scored our equalising goal. McGinn flicks it out to Bellingham. Lots of space on this side for the other substitute. Ramsey holds it up back to Bellingham. Bellingham is tackled, but Onana stretches out a leg and does get there. Great ball out to Elias Yalert, and it goes towards McGinn. Bellingham flicks it in. Watkins, great first touch. Watkins, oh, it just can't go in for us this second goal. Substitution then for Villa as Kamara comes on for Onana in that holding midfield row. A straight swap, that one. Easy. And it is full time. 1-1 here at Villa Park. Juve will consider themselves lucky with that one. They had one shot in the game. And I think it was I think it was one shot, one on target, one goal for, from Vlahovic and the team as a whole. Aston Villa had by far the better of the chances. Just couldn't punish Juventus at all. 1-1 at Villa Park. Just as we go into the interview, by the way, Liverpool beat Real Madrid 3-0 at Anfield. So our 1-0 win there was absolutely superb. Uh, Leon Bailey played very, very well today. Very happy with him. Great finish from him into the top corner. Uh, he's growing into this team. Uh, John McGinn led the passing stats. Yes, he did. He's playing like a true club captain at the moment. Very happy with what he's doing. Again, he's, part, he's, he's an important cog of a very good performing team at the moment. And yeah, we'll celebrate Leon Bailey's performance of getting four shots off in the game. Their goalkeeper played well, but I do think we should have punished them a little bit more. And that is November done. Uh, an excellent month, to be honest. Uh, we are still second in the league. Even though we beat Liverpool, it was that, uh, that, that draw, I think, with Crystal Palace in the sim has hurt us a little bit. But 12 games played, 8 wins, 2 draws, 2 losses... 26 points, one point behind Liverpool. We take fourth place Chelsea next. So that will be um, a tough, tough uh, game. It's going to be a tough, tough month in December anyway. Leicester, Nottingham Forest and Southampton are currently bottom of the table. Uh, if we have a quick peek into December, this is... Uh, no, that's the wrong one again. This is what it's going to look like. So we're going to play Chelsea. We're going to sim Brentford, sim Southampton... And play Leipzig. And then Sim Forest. Then we're going to come back and do two... two we're going to do two December episodes, basically. We're going to Sim Bournemouth in the Cup. Play Man City. Play Newcastle. And Sim Brighton to see us into January with the transfer window. So we've got today's episode... The next episode, and then that the next episode after that is your last call to get names in the comment section for signings in January. So let me know. Keeping it realistic, remember we're not allowed to sign anybody that would be the highest rated player in the squad. So if we have a look at team management, our highest rated player is, well, Martinez at an 87 is actually gives us quite a lot of room to sign very good players anyway. So the people that we're looking at have to be 87 rated or below. They've got to sort of fit this system and they've got to be semi-realistic in terms of who we would buy anyway. Open to loan ideas, open to full transfers. Let me know down below. I'll catch you in the next episode where we start a manic December. See you then. Cheers.